Okay, so before we came on camera, we kind of sat down and went into some, I would say, some pretty heavy detail, what your company does. We talked about video, we talked about AI, et cetera. Um, let's bring the viewers in kind of in baby steps. So can you give me an idea, not an idea, can you just basically tell me what it is your company does to a layman? Uh, so basically we are video recognition and intelligence company, which means that we are doing next level, next generation video recognition software using the latest uh, deep learning techniques. But when you say next generation, so where were we before you guys, uh, before you, what you guys do, where were we? So basically none of the technology was able to actually give a full description of what, what the video file contains. And that was a huge problem and has been around for as long as uh, there has been digital video files basically. And uh, the, right now the amount of information is uh, uh, kind of accelerating rapidly. So it has been predicted that 80% of the video data, uh, internet data will be video in the near future, 19, uh, 20, 19, 20 range. And uh, this means basically one thing, uh, that information needs to be described in order to be more useful in the future. There's not going to be a uh, level of human power that can go through, wait through all that data and find the informant, uh, inter interesting pieces of information. So your client base then is basically the media industry? Yes, that's our go-to market, media, entertainment, and but increasingly uh, more video companies. And these days, some of the companies who want to use video information as a sensory output, something that uh, recognizes and understands what's happening in the space, for example, uh, finding how people move, move or behave, what is their sentiment information, uh, what is the sentiment of the of the people in the space, and these kind of things as well. Now, before we were when we were off camera, we talked about artificial intelligence a lot, and you were talking about how artificial intelligence has actually helped you, your company, with respect to this technology. Right, so uh, AI is, uh, is the core foundation of our technology. So we are a full stack AI company. And what it means to be a full stack AI company is that you are training and teaching the computer to uh, learn to recognize and predict things from data. And uh, we are very good at it and we have a processes where uh, several processes where uh, the AI is constantly learning on our customer data. And uh, especially with the latest uh, technology in uh, machine learning, we are able to reach accuracies that weren't able to be reached before, uh, before our times, basically. And in, your, in, this application, uh, in the application of this technology, is language ever an issue? Is it ever an obstacle? So part of our recognition uh, kind of uh, comprehensiveness is understanding also what are the spoken topics in the video. Like for example, in this interview, the AI can recognize things like uh, we are talking about AI and video recognition and intelligence automatically and highlight that as part of the most important piece of information in the video data. For that, we need language understanding and also natural language processing technology. And uh, audio recognition is uh, playing a big part of that. And Many big companies are, are kind of doing a lot of progress in that domain, and we are uh, exploiting part of that technology in the audio side, and then work uh, using our own NLP technology alongside of that to uh, enhance and enrich the comprehensive uh, video understanding. So, so you're working with established partners. I mean, it's not like you going alone. You're actually working with other uh, developers or partners in this in this space. We are partnering with uh, providers of uh, speech recognition technology, and uh, we are using multiple partners. Some of them are able to provide, uh, you know, their solutions in on premises, in you know, next to customer data. Other partners are. And that's important to have it to have that function. Uh, yeah, it is uh, for especially for media companies, but also other companies that have sensitive data, so they don't want to put the data in the cloud necessarily, and that's why we can bring the software next to them. And, uh, but other option that's available in the cloud is use other partner providers that can provide the language recognition capabilities for multiple language groups. And that's also a plus side. But what we are doing on top of that is uh, we, are, we have our own NLP root, routines and then inferencing layers that actually uh, combine this information together with other cues, our AI extracts from uh, visual signal people, as well as the um, uh, audio sounds, for example, to provide this comprehensive understanding what the video is about and, for example, do high-level categorization of the video topics and uh, 
let's imagine an example. If you have a video that talks about loneliness but shows kittens, you know, as the support of this emotional aspect of it, we can, uh, our AI is able to summarize the video. It's, it's about pets and uh, societal issues automatically. So just by going through the, all the modalities of the data. And the technology itself is how old and the company is how old? The company was founded in 2015 as a university spin-off and I basically took all the research background and the IP I had developed at that time with, together with my research team and translated that into a company. And that included uh, technology for uh, deep search uh, engine capabilities for scene level discovery as well as the recognition capabilities for, for several modalities of the videos to reach the comprehensiveness. So the background of the of the, uh, of the technology go, dates back all the way to the beginning of 2001 when I was starting the video uh, uh, intelligence research work at the University of Maryland participating to NIST organized uh, competitions on trying to find certain topics in uh, broadcast video data. So it, go, it has a long history, long development path. All right, earlier off camera we, we talked about your background, we talked about the University of Maryland, and we talked about the fact that AI had reached a certain break point. And I wanted you, if you could, just to explain that as, with respect to especially NLP. Right, so when I was doing my the, uh, PhD in 2000s, uh, technology wasn't mature enough to recognize comprehensive information from video data. Uh, and uh, after my uh, PhD thesis, I uh, started uh, seeing more and more uh, kind of a scientific uh, progression on machine learning technologies. And that was uh, culminated in 2012 when there were uh, kind of new papers being released on recognizing uh, thousands of concepts at once from uh, uh, visual data uh, using these deep learning techniques. And that was kind of the break point of uh, development and maturity of the AI to do uh, cognitive uh, kind of work. And from that on, the technology has accelerated and kind of opened up new opportunities also in this kind of old domains of understanding what's in the video files. And we also talked about, um, we made a segue into your involvement. How did you get involved with NIST? So when, when I was uh, starting my PhD at the University of Oulu in Finland, we had a collaboration agreement with University of Maryland. So basically I did my PhD, uh, PhD exchange there at the beginning of my studies, working with the world leading computer vision uh, scientists there, and uh, started working on video uh, uh, kind of information retrieval problems. And we used the methods that were state-of-the-art at that time. But even the big corporations like IBM's and uh, Microsoft's weren't able to solve those problems that were imposed by NIST as a benchmark to kind of accelerate the technological development. So uh, the kind of interest in that technology started accelerating from 2001 uh, thanks to NIST-organized benchmarking events.